Hi, Tracy from the Wildlife Garden. I'm out today on uh, a local nature reserve called Rowley Hill, doing a bio uh, diversity count. Um, so little about it. It's shocking and overhearing the experts that we're with and their counts this year. It's very worrying. They're down massively. Uh, we've seen, I've seen a marbled white, two marbled white. This place is renowned for its marbled white. It's the only area close to us that has marbled white and meadow brown and possibly possibly meadow brown, one well, meadow brown at least, and ringlets, a comma, very few bees. I mean, here I am in the meadow. Can you hear any buzzing? No. Very few bees about. One or two. Oh, there we go. Is that a ringlet? Might have been a ringlet. Um, one or two grasshoppers. Normally this would be buzzing with grasshoppers. Um, but... Uh, no, seen one red-tailed bee. No solitary bees. A lovely lot of teasel there. But, yep, so quiet. A bit worrying, really, how quiet it is. And obviously, uh, the people here are, the, as I say, all the experts from uh, the uh, Birmingham and Black Country uh, Wildlife Trust. I've been counting all year and saying how low the numbers are in comparison to last year and last year wasn't a great count. I've done the bug butterfly count while I've been here. Not much to um, to count because there wasn't much out. We had one bit of sunshine come out and things did pop up but nothing like they should be. And this is the meadow. So yeah. My concern continues. I can't give you any uplifting news, I'm afraid, because there isn't any for people who are concerned about wildlife at the moment. I've been checking all the ragwort here, because I know I've not had any signs of uh, cinnabar caterpillars at home, and there's none here either. And there's big patches of, uh, of um, ragwort here, but nothing to show on them. So yeah, this this most common insect we've seen is this soldier beetle. You see it there on the Hogwart, Hogwart, Hogwart. That's Harry Potter, isn't it? <laughs> Hogwart, Hogwart. Um, and yeah, so it's just so quiet. Nothing on even plants that are normally packed with insects. There's nothing. Here's the ragwort. I think uh, one or two. I've seen one or two of these female um, thick-thighed beetles. It'll focus. Don't think it'll focus on two. There. I've seen a few of those. But that's it. So we're counting from ten o'clock this morning till three p.m. It's a house martin by the time we're flying over. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. It's all being recorded on iNaturalist um, this, uh, as we uh, find anything. So, yep. Continue my count if I can find anything to count. It's a lovely hill though. That's Birmingham in there. The motorway going out. Well, I'm not looking out towards Birmingham there. There is a good site. Yeah, there's a house martin over about. But um, those flats over there where they normally nest are now being refurbished, so probably all the nesting sites have been destroyed. <laughs> it's doom and gloom all round. Sorry about that. But can't pretend any other way, really. So it, it just adds to the importance of trying to do what you can as soon as you can. Please. Stop using your pesticides, your herbs. Someone here has just told me they still use glyphosate because he's a, a gardener, of uh, allotment gardener, and he still uses glyphosate. I mean, for goodness sake, he's come on this bug, bug hunt. I'll leave you with the happy picture of a pair of soldier beetles because those are the majority of insects here today. Take care, everyone. Bye.